People who hate ReZero misunderstand the whole point of it. ReZero is a story about self-improvement, self-love, and self-discovery. Today, let us talk about ReZero and what is my take on ReZero. If you have not subscribed, you are missing out a lot. Without further ado, let's get into it. ReZero is truly something special. It is a masterpiece of a character study and you won't find anything as good as it anywhere else. It is a story about self-discovery, self-love, and self-improvement like no other and it hits very close to home for me and many others. There are also many other themes and messages but those three are definitely the most important. Not only is it a masterful character study but it also has an amazing plot and amazing characters to complement it. It is by far my favorite piece of fiction though that is Counting the Light, web novel. Counting the anime only it is still my favorite but not by much. Plot. The plot of ReZero is just incredible, and the depth of it is unmatched by any other series I have ever seen or read. The depth won't become apparent until later season though and the first two seasons of the show are only the prologue for the story. ReZero's plot is just full of plot twists that no one could possibly predict and if anyone says that ReZero's plot is predictable they are lying. The plot leads to a lot of amazing emotional moments and really helps push the themes and characters to even greater highs. Characters. The characters in ReZero are just incredible. It is definitely the highlight of the series for me. Every character in ReZero is multidimensional and has a lot of depth. Characters who seem very simple at first glance aren't like for example Beetlejuice who was just seen as a madman during season 1 but it turns out later that he actually has a very tragic backstory that made him who he was. This is also the case for every single character in the show and I would need to write whole essays to be able to deconstruct most of the characters in the show without oversimplifying them. Subaru. The character that stands above all else is the main character Natsuki Subaru. He is truly a well-written, realistic and relatable protagonist. My favorite fictional character of all time and also the best written one in my eyes. ReZero isn't your typical power fantasy with an overpowered protagonist who makes no mistakes. Subaru makes mistakes. He is a fundamentally a flawed character. He is human. The fact that he just ran into near impossible situations like some idiot. That he constantly made a fool of himself. That he was insufferable towards Amelia and that he just seemed ignorant to all these flaws while never trying to improve or learn from his mistakes just made me dislike him a lot. That was until season 1 episode 18, which is the best anime episode I have ever seen. The episode where Subaru shows his real feelings, what he really thinks of himself. After all the things that happened to him at that point, all of the pride and entitlement that were core parts of Subaru's character were now gone. Left was his feelings of self-hatred. Subaru was not ignorant of his flaws. He was just not able to change for the better and neither was he able to communicate that he was trying to. When he did something wrong he tried to justify himself instead of trying to fix it. He kept repeating the same mistakes which led him down this dark path in the first place. And he hated himself for it. He believes that no matter what he does he is just a failure, that he just keeps making things worse than they already but this girl in front of him sees a different version of him. She sees how kind he is, how much he cares about the people around him and how he saved her. What he saw was a failure, and what she saw was a hero and instead of running away and keep on choosing to be a failure, she tells him to not give up, to not run away, and instead to choose to become a better person. This is the moment Subaru as a character changed for me and so many others and is the episode that hit a little too close to home. After this, when it becomes clear that Subaru has to change he is faced with another problem which is who Subaru should become and that is where season 2 does an amazing job at continuing Subaru's journey with him facing his past that led him down this dark path in the first place and also showing that he should learn to love himself more and that there are other people that care about him which he has a hard time to acknowledge as a result of his past. There are also so many other parts of Subaru's character I animation and music. The animation in this show pretty good. It isn't great and neither is it bad. There really is not much to talk about animation-wise, but music-wise, well there is definitely a lot to talk about. I will try and keep this short though. The music in ReZero is incredible, and in my opinion the Ost is only second to AOT out of all anime I have ever watched. ReZero's soundtrack is just so rich and amazing and it really shows which type of series it is but the best part about it is how it incorporates death in music. In ReZero there is a lot of death, and the way it is reflected in the Ost is just incredible. Many of the Osts in ReZero like Rondo of Love and Darkness and Hymn of Despair and Atonement are very similar sounding to the Daisuri which is a hymn that most people associate with death. It has been incorporated in songs and movies like Star Wars, Lord of the Rings, and many more to represent death and is an old Catholic hymn sung during funerals that describes the Day of Wrath. The lyrics of Rondo of Love and Darkness are taken from a Catholic sanctus. I'm not sure if it has any deeper meaning but I thought it was kind of interesting. ReZero also has some more amazing soundtracks that don't represent death 
deathlike requiem of silence and tact of heroes. Final thought, ReZero is an incredible show and you should definitely watch or read it. I see a lot of ReZero hate but the funny thing about it is that every single one misunderstands what the show fundamentally about and what the overarching themes of the story are. Examples of this are people misunderstanding the point of crucial episodes like Season 1 Episode 18 and Season 2 Episode 24. Some guy said that Season 1 Episode 18 was bad because it turned ReZero into a love story when he completely missed the point of the episode which is basically for Subaru to realize that he has to not give up, that he is a flawed person and therefore he has to change and that he is the one who has to initiate those changes, that instead of running away and choosing to be a failure he should choose to become a better person. Some other guy said that the point of ReZero Season 2 Episode 4 is about Subaru saying goodbye to his parents when it actually is about Subaru facing his past which led to many of the problems he has and gives more context for why he acted like he did in season 1. The problems that led him down this path are not only one but there is one problem that stands above all which is the expectations he had living under the expectation of being Natsuki Kenshai's son. That way of living must be extremely toxic and to finally face that and break free of it let Subaru finally focus on becoming a better self. Also, a lot of the criticism is basically the show doing what it's supposed to like for example the fact that Subaru is flawed and incompetent and criticizing the show for that when it actually is very intentional. And the only reason they didn't understand what the point of it was even though it is very clear what the point of it was. On top of that, a lot of their criticisms of the show are just completely untrue. They basically make claims without any basis for it and some people just assume stuff are plot holes when it gets thoroughly explained later in the series. ReZero as a show doesn't have any inherent flaws and it does what it is trying to do masterfully. That's it for this video. Let us know in the comments whether you have watched or planning to give it a shot. Thanks for watching. Any suggestion is highly appreciated. See you in the next video.